Now, this had some uh, traction on social media this week. And how? Uh, was the Pope justified in slapping the hand of a woman who grabbed his arm whilst he was greeting the crowds in St Peter's Square on New Year's Eve? The Pope Francis had been greeting pilgrims when he admonished a woman and slapped her hand after she grabbed his hand and yanked him towards her. Uh, he did apologise, saying that he'd lost his patience. Jack Valero is uh, set up Catholic Voices in the UK and joins us now. Good morning to you, Jack. Good morning. Good morning, Dom. Th thanks very much indeed for joining us. Um, what's your take on this? A, a lot of people getting excited about nothing, or, or was this... Yes, of... well, I, I think that uh, when you look at the video, you see that uh, he was there among the people, as he likes to do, and then this, this lady yanked him towards her, and uh, uh, he has this sciatica, this back condition, so pretty very hurt because you can see his body reacting. And then he losing his cool a bit and saying, let me go, let go of me and walking off with a with an annoyed face. Uh, but what's really interesting is that the very next day uh, in his next speech, apologizing in public for losing his patience. And in a way, I'm, I was thinking, well, you know, that happens to me, too. I lose my patience sometimes. And here's a man who is not afraid to apologize in public for something he's done wrong. And uh, so I, I, you know, I thought, well, that it's ended well. And uh, he has shown that it's really important to be close to people, even though sometimes they might do things that, that you don't like or sometimes they make you lose your cool and so on. But we, we must get on with it. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, this is the thing, isn't it? He's, he's, uh, he's only human, I guess. Um, some people who perhaps don't know the Catholic faith as, as well as I'm sure you do would say, but isn't he meant to be above all that? He's meant to be without sin. Yes, ex yes, yes, yes. And uh, and what it shows is that he's not like a god. He's he's a human being. He's trying to tell us. And and his message all these six years has been: God is very close to you, to your real concrete needs, and the church is close to you. And it's not something remote for perfect people. But but it, ha it God loves you uh, more than anyone else. And there's nothing you can do to diminish the God, the love that God has for you. And this is the message of the Pope. And uh, because God is close to you, he wants to be, the Pope wants to be close to you saying, you know, I'm not perfect, I'm not God, I'm just trying to, tell, to give you this message. Not only that, I encourage you all to give this message to everyone else. So if we all do that as Christians, and we all transmit the, this message of the love of God, and that God is interested in everything you do, and wants to help you to be happy, then, then uh, the world will be such a better place. And I, I think it's important to see that the Pope is not somebody very remote, but he's like one of us. And we have this issue in our lives that we do things wrong and we need to ask for forgiveness. And uh, this is a very good example. So uh, I, I felt very motivated, you know, to, to also look at the things I've done and, 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 and apologize to people I've done things wrong with, you know. Yeah, exactly. And and. On a sort of different scale, how important, bearing in mind what you just said, is it that that he is out amongst uh, the people themselves? I mean, after all, we we do know historically that this is this brings with it dangers, doesn't it? So that I'm sure the Vatican exactly, is very, exactly. very aware of that. Yes, and I think perhaps they need to improve the security. But I remember in a trip, I think it was to Brazil, and the car, the Pope's car, went the wrong way, and it. it got surrounded by people and the security guards were pulling their hair out but he was really delighted he, he opened the window and started talking to people because basically he feels his mission is to tell people god is really close to you uh don't think this the you know there's something remote that you can't access anymore that uh, god created you he loves you he's very close to you and uh and i think this 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 is a message that's getting through because there's huge following for the pope i know there's some controversies about him and some people feel he's not really so clear in, in his teachings and so on but i think he's very clear because he's saying yes of course we we don't agree with abortion and we believe in marriage of a man and a woman and so on but but before all of that we believe in people and in helping them in their concrete problems and so on and we want to be close to them and unless we understand that all the other messages won't be heard so the the way that he does it i think is very very appropriate and jack there is evidence with this particular pope that he's perhaps for want of a better phrase, a little more relaxed about the church's thinking towards the modern world. 
Well, I think the, the, the church wants to be in the modern world because if unless we we help the modern world, the world, well, what, what are we doing? You know, what, why are we here? Uh, uh, and uh, he he uh, he has this particular approach. But I, 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 my own view is that he's very much in the line of John Paul and then Benedict and then him. And uh, each time we've had, you know, we had John Paul tra traveling the world and telling us things about the church because you know, the Pope had been very remote before, and then we had Benedict teaching many, many beautiful things, and then we have this Pope among the people. So we've we've had different aspects of the same thing. But it's not a matter of being so much relaxed about the modern world, but to say, you know, the modern world is a really good thing because God is there in the modern world. Otherwise, what what are we talking about, you know? Otherwise, we would be remote and, and, and uh, not relevant to anyone. So I think it's, 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 it's good that we see this, that he's, he's there and he's happy with the world and he says, God is here in the world and God can help you. And if whatever problem you have, uh, if you pray to God and if you go to the Catholic Church, for example, you can be helped because God loves you and wants you to be happy. Just finally, what are your hopes for the Catholic Church at the beginning of this new decade? Well... Uh, I think that I am hoping that this message gets through and also that all of us Catholics can uh, take this message to others because the Pope can reach so many people. But uh, if we all take this to heart and say to pe say to others, you know, this is the message of the church for you, uh, then then the, the reach will be so much wider to, to everyone. So, And I think this Pope is very keen to, to say the, the church is not the Pope and the bishops and priests only, who it's a little, little minority. But... It's all of us, and we all can help in our families and in our places of work to make the country, the, the world, a better place. Wonderful stuff, Jack. Thank you so much. Jack Valero there, who uh, set up Catholic Voices in the UK. Uh, lovely to speak to him this morning, get a little insight into uh, the Catholic Church's reaction to that uh, incident, which was just a, a very minor incident, wasn't it? But it's fascinating to see exactly what the thinking is behind it.